sure to check out Ageless Geeks for your figures and collectibles. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Garrett on 18 here and today we're going to be taking a look at the NECA toys Godzilla King of the Monsters Rodan. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box with this awesome picture right on the front of it of Rodan. So we do get the same type of box that we got with the Godzilla King of the Monsters Mothra from NECA. So on the front here we do get a beautiful image of Rodan which looks so damn awesome. On the top does say Monsterverse, on the bottom does say Godzilla King of the Monsters and Rodan. And you can flip this open, it is just Velcroed. We do have the window displaying the figure and the accessories and the outside we do get a promo shot of the Rodan figure. Then the bottom of the box here we do have the barcode of Blood with Bustle. Nobody cares about Then here is the top of the box. And then the one side here, and it does have a little bio, so if you'd like to read that, you can pause it right now and give it a read. And then the other side of the box here does have the measurements of the wingspan, saying it's articulated and includes a base and stuff. And then the back here does have another promo image of the figure along with some of the other characters from the movie. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure up and take a close look at this character who had one of the coolest scenes from the movie. And was also one of my favorite characters from the old Godzilla movies when I was a kid. Alrighty, take it a closer detailed look, and NECA did a beautiful job on this Rodan here, and sculpt and paint-wise, like, detail for Rodan, I do prefer the look of this one a lot more over the SH uh, Monster Arts version, even though I just saw it in promo images, but Monster Arts doesn't have, like, the fiery look to the end of, like, his tail and the bottom part of his wings, like how the NECA one does, which is definitely the cooler-looking look for Rodan here. Now, I do have one issue with the figure, just like with Mothra, a piece broke. Now, these pieces can swivel a little bit, and this one, I didn't even realize the joint was stuck, and I was moving it, and it fell right off and broke. Oh, no, I don't think it did break. It just came off the joint there. So, okay, it didn't break. It just came off the joint, which I, I could push it back in. Yeah, it's giving me trouble now, but that that that's an issue right there. I don't know why I keep running into issues with uh, these NECA Godzilla King of the Monster figures. There we go. Now I got it on, but just be careful of yours. It didn't break. It just uh, uh, unpegs, and it's kind of a pain in the ass to peg back in, so that is... Uh, one issue right there uh, with the figure, but the head sculpt looks great. It looks just like Rodan, like how he did in uh, the, the movie there. Beautiful sculpt and paint detail. The eyes are both painted uh, very well with the uh, pupil even painted on there. Also, I like the horn pieces. That looks cool. Like the belly and the under part of Rodan looks dope. I love the way that fiery look just blends into the color of his uh, his skin there. And I like the texture to the skin on the body right there. That looks so cool. Really nice job by NECA there. The tail looks dope. The uh, the legs and feet look pretty cool too. And then the top here, I like the way this piece looks. That looks really nice. Very nice sculpt detail just all throughout this figure. And then the wings look great too. Very wide wingspan there. Like I said, I love the way the orangey fiery color blends into the uh, skin tone color there. You can see his arms and hands right there, which look pretty cool. And then the under part of his wings will look dope as well. Like I said, the texture to the skin tone and the wings just look really cool. Just all around beautiful job with the paint and sculpt detail on Rodan here. And I don't think NECA really could have done any better of a job when it comes to the paint and sculpt. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, Rodan isn't included with a whole bunch, but we do get an awesome base with a stand, and then we do get two interchangeable heads. And starting on the left, we do get the closed mouth face, which is the face that does come on the figure out of the packaging that we already took a look at, and they did do a fantastic job with that one. Then we do get my favorite out of the two on the right, which is the open mouth or screeching type face, and they did a, a superb job with this head sculpt as well. The teeth are all individually sculpted. We get like a glossy paint inside the mouth and everything. You can see a little bit of that red mixed in with his skin tone and the eyes are painted really well. Also, so excellent job on both interchangeable heads and it's very easy to swap them. I'll show you how to do that right now quickly. And swapping the heads on Rodan is very simple. So all you do is just pull on the head and it just pops right off. Take the other head here, peg that in. Be careful the peg is very thin. You don't want to break it. Just push in and it pegs 
right on and then there you go as simple as that and this wing is really irritating the hell out of me I'm about to just glue it on so we do get the two interchangeable heads and just like with Mothra we do get this base with the stand so we do have the uh, arm here and then we do have the base and this comes apart you have to connect it you just have to line up the peg hole with the peg here and then just peg that in and it, it's it's really cool looking it's an explosion type effect coming out of like a mountain or something like that but they, they did an excellent job with like the rock area and I love the way the explosion looks it is a yellow translucent plastic and as you can see they painted all over it so it looks like something is exploding but really really cool base much cooler looking than Mothra's then you take the arm here and you just peg that in and there you go as simple as that and I'll show you what Rodan looks like on it right now and the way you get Rodan on the base is pretty much identical to the way you get the NECA Mothra on her base so we have the clip right here and all you do is just put it right in front of his legs and this piece should be going towards the front of Rodan's body and you just put him on it just like that and then there you go as simple as that but anyway that is all the accessories included with this awesome pterodactyl type looking creature let's keep moving on with the rest of the reviews shall we now for the measurements of Rodan if you have him just standing on the ground which I doubt you ever will but to the top of his head it looks like he's around two and a half inches tall maybe a little bit taller and then from head to tail let's see how long he is from head to tail I think he's there goes that stupid wing again he's about four and a half inches from head to tail then the wingspan here let me get this stupid part of the wing back on which is really irritating the hell out of me but the wingspan is about uh, just shy of 13 inches wide so he definitely does have some good measurements for a six inch scale figure and then here he is compared to the NECA King Kong vs Godzilla Godzilla and the SH Monsters King of the Monsters Godzilla and this Rodan definitely does scale perfectly with this SH Monsters Gojira and then here he is compared to the Mezco Toy Skull Island King Kong and the NECA Godzilla King of the Monsters Mothra and as you can see their wingspan is about the same length Rodan looks like it's a little bit wider compared to Mothra's but they do scale well also and then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool anyway there's some quick comparisons let's keep moving on with the rest of the review so now for the articulation and Rodan is not loaded with articulation but he does have some decent movement for a pterodactyl type looking character so we do have two joints at the neck here we have an upper neck joint and a lower neck joint the upper neck joint you can get him to move his head up and down just a tiny bit it does pivot a little bit then of course it does swivel the lower neck here has better uh, up and down movement as you can see right there so with both joints he looks down about that much which isn't too bad and both joints doesn't really look up but he does look straight ahead so good for the flight poses you get a little bit of pivot at the lower neck and then of course it does swivel as well so okay movement at both those joints there then the legs here I believe are on like a ball peg type joint because you can move them all around they can move up about that much it's pretty much 90 degrees with the body and then going back or down the leg pretty much almost goes parallel with his tail right there and then they can pivot and they can move around so they can pivot and move up and down and side to side and everything so you do get a decent amount of movement with the legs there now these pieces right here are on a hinge as I mentioned before be careful they can pop off the joint as my right one did but they hinge in about that much and then they hinge all the way out and then the wings here can swivel a little bit where they connect into the body and they hinge down about that much which is pretty good and then they hinge up about that much so you get some decent movement with the with the wings right there like I said he's not loaded with a ton of articulation but for the type of character he is I think NECA definitely worked in the movement pretty good and you're gonna be able to get him in some okay like poses this wing here has a bit of looseness to it so that is annoying the hell out of me but like I said you'll be able to get him in some pretty good 
Rodan light poses, and I'm about to show you some of them right about now. But anyway, that is my review of the NECA Godzilla King of the Monsters Rodan. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure between a 1 through 10, I'd have to give it a 7.5. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure, I did get this off NECA's account on Amazon, and it should be at local retailers by now. HLS Geeks does not carry NECA toys in stock, but you can get your other figures and collectibles from HLSGeeks.com. If you can't find something on their website, I do recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it, but thanks for watching. I will see you later. So we do get this, it does say the measurement of the wingspan, how it's articulated, <laughs> damn you, is about the same, and whoops, I just dropped something. King of the Monsters, Godzilla, and this Rodan definitely scales, 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 it scales, not scales. And if you have them standing on the ground from, eh, eh? Really? I didn't know what to say there.